Okay, so I've soaked this for a day uh, with a dash of um, of baking powder in water. And I've just drained it out, okay? So now, I'm going to do this my way. I'm not doing this YouTube-style uh, way, okay? And so... Let me, uh, no, just rinse, come on, rinse this off. I'm going to use purified water. I use purified water for the soaking for one day. As you can see, the uh, garbanzo beans have grown substantially. So they're, they're pretty much like halfway cooked. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to boil them in this. Why? Because I want ceramic or glass. I don't think I want, um to use sterling, uh, you, you know, the regular material, Teflon's bad, um, <clears throat> uh, metal to me, it, it uh, depletes <clears throat> enzyme, the food from enzymes, and maybe I'm going overboard, but as long as I have something else to use, that's what I'm going to use. I don't care how it stands. I don't care if it's supposed to be a coffee maker, whatever. So I'm going to boil this, and it's going to get fully cooked, and guess what? I'm just going to drain it. And when I drain it, I'm going to put this on, you know, those coffee warmers, you know, that you could actually put a, a, a candle over it so, and so it could melt and it could make your, your house smell beautiful. Well, I'll show it to you on part three. Okay. But in the meantime, I'm just going to boil this in the safest uh, uh, utensil or what, safest vessel that I can find. And this is what I found. All right. It may not be pretty. It may not be. I don't like this for coffee. It's a percolator. Uh, it just doesn't percolate right, quite frankly. Uh, but I think I found a use for it. And we get to, we're going to test it out. All right. All right. So now I put all of my garbanzo beans. Instead of soybeans, garbanzo are a lot more nutritious. You can ferment any bean. It doesn't have to be soybean for it to be natto okay the japanese are not limited to just soybean this is just all hype what you're seeing on tv okay so now i'm going to boil it with purified water the most purified water i could find out there i get about 14 gallons of this water every um every week and a half it's my drinking water and my cooking water i'm not using tap water i don't care if it's boiled and it's supposed to be sanitized it's not going to happen, right? So you got plenty of water here now, as you can see. I'm going to boil it, and I'm going to boil it, and then I'm going to put it on low fire uh, because I don't want to boil the heck out of it either. You know what I mean? I'm going to treat my natto like it's natto, like it is uh, 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 not dated, but you know what I'm saying, with royalty um, from start to finish. So this is part two. See me on part three. Thank you for watching. Bye now.